the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey man, God bless you. Good morning. This is Friday morning. No, it's not Friday morning. It's Sunday morning. Okay, amen. I hope everybody had a good rest day or worship yesterday. Yesterday, uh, we want to talk about the fact of, of um, a good topic this morning. Uh, matter of fact, it's a it's a great topic. I think it's a it's a topic that that will free many of you up, all of us up, when we recognize that in Christ, in the anointing, we are fulfilling the laws of God through the overarching umbrella of love. You know, and, and, and I know some people say, this, oh, no, 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 I'm telling you, we have been under control by ministries, by our own groups of people that we hang out with uh, by them imposing and then you, you yourself too you you actually imposing uh, the law against yourself condemning yourself and and not recognizing and then condemning and, and also condemning others by the law instead of understanding that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law do, the law is a is it to to us now as believers, those as believers, and really probably in the world in itself, to you to to a degree. See, because we need Christ uh, in order to to receive the the mercy and the grace and the anointing to to conquer uh, works of inequity, works of the flesh, or carnality carnality and 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 so therefore the the laws the commandments starting with the ten commandments and then all the laws that we impose on ourselves uh the jews the hebrews came up with estimated 613 different laws under or after following the, the the laws that God gave Moses on the uh, in the book of Exodus or in the in the Torah, there were those there was ten laws that God gave, and then Leviticus they estimated I think about six hundred thirteen. I mean, what we do, and then I'm talking about even our society. I ain't talking about legal laws or raw laws for safety and regulations or speeding and everything else. I'm talking about moral laws. I'm talking about uh, things that that really uh, binds us and and used to condemn us and control one another. Uh, people are quick to point out. You ever thought about it? The I call it legalism is where people love to sit there and point out when you fail to obey the law. And then even yourself, you quick to condemn yourself. And, and, and that's where the tragedy really begins when we sit there and walk in condemnation because we apply standards. And that's one 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 of my friends talking about the, the the standards. Well, let's let's go with the the, the standards of God by itself first. The, the basic standards of God, and and I'm talking about the Ten Commandments. And let's see if we are fulfilling those first, and understanding that these are what God gave the children of Israel, not just Moses. He gave it to the children of Israel about the the law right and and therefore these were important that god made us to speak these commandments to the children of israel they were written on on stone or tablets right 
and 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 that just reflect the symbolism that it, it it doesn't bend or break when you talk about applying the law that's that and then that goes into every other of the 613 and all the other ones like you got people to sit there and say well you can't go to the club you know that ain't a law that ain't a law of god that's 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 a self-imposed law of man there's some people that sit there and say, well, you, you, we're not going to let you wear makeup and, and you're just supposed to put a little dolly on your head and, and you're supposed to wear uh, conservative clothing and all those things. These are things of man. These are the things that people want to impose on one another and then be able to condemn one another when those things are not fulfilled. There's, there's, I mean, you got people got law said, well, you don't go to our church then you, you're not saved. That that's that's not that's not the law of God, that's a law of man. What about say, well, don't forsake 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 the similar of yourselves to one another? That is for a purpose of growing, but it's definitely not a purpose of going to a particular or specific ministry. And I know that that's what people do to try to keep people into their ministries, uh, or people groups try to sit there and say, we want you to stay with us, you know, and there's ministries that, of, of families who go to, for, to one service, one church, one denomination, or really one service, because their families went to it. In other words, if family went to it, you should go to it, and, and then they condemn or kick one another out because they don't go to that ministry anymore. Some train from being a Methodist to a Baptist, or some from a Catholic to a Baptist or, or, or to a non-denomination. And people sit there and try to condemn one another because it tries to restrict people. We, we try to restrict ourselves to, uh, to control, mechanism control, instead of understanding the power of God in our life. The power of God. There's people. There's politics. Even in politics, they'd love to sit there and let you bring in uh, our faith or even religion in itself to control people. And 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 and, and what you call it? Pressure people based on doing it my way or the highway. Move out. You know, uh, people actually. We saw this week about some of the people to try to kill people in mid, um, in politics, uh, and then, like I said, we got we got people right now using the uh, Christianity to to creep keep a group of people and say, you know, evangelicals, you all supposed to be under the the, the Republicans' umbrella, and if you're not, you're not you're not going to hell. I mean, you're going to hell if you stay, well, excuse me, you stay, you're not going to hell if you stay with the Republicans, you're going to hell if you go with the Democrats. And, you know, each, I don't, I'm not saying that, I don't think the Democrats are doing that, at least from my perspective, but you are, you know, there's a group that are doing that. And once again, I'm talking about the fact is we have imposed things that use to condemn one another and demonize one another instead of sitting there recognizing that we can fulfill and have been fulfilling daily the the law the ten commandments of god and then if we fulfill those ten commandments then all those other things will roll and take care of itself because we are saying we are following the laws we're following the will of god and that's the key thing is is his laws and it's not just uh, the guidelines, the, the real kicker that we want to do is follow the will of God. If we can just just, just get into the understanding, but laws are there as guardrails. They're not there to, to, to try to keep you controlled by other people and other things. And, 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 and that's what people try to do. So the day this ministry is talking about, the fact is that we, all of us, have been redeemed from the curse of the law and that we also be able to fulfill the law and i'm sure the scripture that says that if we operate under the anointing and operate it under love amen that's what i'm trying to tell you you many of us right now you can sit there and and, and just discard i'm telling you you discard religious legalism people because you're not going to work your way listen 
the scripture says, you're not going to work your way in heaven. It's, it's a gift. It is something given to you by God. And the fact is that if you operate under the love, then you won't do those things that are unacceptable, not to man, but to God. You want to focus on pleasing God first. The Bible says, even scripture says, seek ye first who? The kingdom of God. Then we can sit there and we can, one of the things we really got to get rid of, many of you, all of us, is these, these petty things that we use to condemn one another and demonize one another. You are free, I'm telling you right now, based on the fact of Christ coming, you are redeemed from the curse of the law. And I'm talking about every, every aspect of what man tried to put on you. Some that want to sit there and tell you, well, you, you, can't, you got to wear certain clothes. Some people sit there and say, well, you can't go to a certain club. Some people sit there and say, well, you can't go to the football game. Some people sit there and say, you can't, uh, you can't eat barbecue. You know, you can't, you know, eat certain food. You, you, we, it's, it's, it's time for us to let that stuff go and just focus on the fact is that if we operate in love, and you know the two great commandments are to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, all thy mind, all thy strength, and to love thy neighbors thyself. On these two commandments, fulfill all the laws and the prophets. Did you hear what I just said? If we operate in love based on the scripture, it fulfills the laws and the prophets opposed to us sitting there trying to fulfill them for the please people just operate in love using the the the, the laws some of said the laws are good the bible tell you that the laws are good but use those as guardrails for you as 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 as, as means to, to help you navigate but don't let the means that you used for condemning because you're under grace all those who listen to me now, God is telling you, you are operating, you are under the grace of God. And if we just follow the will of God, we'll, we'll, we'll do the right things based on God, based on pleasing him, not pleasing man. I'm trying to tell you, you cannot please man. You cannot make it to heaven by the laws. So you can't please man, and you can't please, uh, you can't work your way to heaven by the law. All of sin, the Bible said that all of sin that comes short of the glory of God. So if all of sin that comes short of the glory of God, how are you going to sit there and try to work your way through heaven? You only can work your way through heaven by not working at all, but loving one another and try and operate in the grace and mercy of God. That's why you can go boldly to the throne of grace if you operate under the grace, under the mercy, operate in love. That's easier, right? Most of us are, what do you mean? No, it is easier to operate in love. And also love does mean forgiving too. I don't have to hang around you anymore. I don't have to put up with you anymore in some cases, but I still forgive you because I'm not gonna live and dwell in unforgiveness because of you. you. You see what I'm saying? So let's let's get into the scripture today. And I'm going what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be the live session. Instead of me stopping and breaking it up, I'm not gonna do that anymore. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight through this is the live session. If anybody wanna go listen to the live session in its entirety, then we're gonna go ahead and do that. But what I'm gonna do is go to which is sometimes a little hard because you're editing, but the fact is is let the editing versions uh be broken down into the 20, 30 segments uh, and send those out. Uh, but it's easier to do it that way. So you have this live, raw, uncut uh, live session. I'll put a cover over that. and uh, But that that's best I can do with that. But the other one, I'm going to sit there and just break them down into easy segments of 30 minutes or less so this so that i can digest the study okay all right god bless you so we're going to go ahead uh and start and we're going to try to finish uh around 9 30. so i started around eight you know i was off a little bit about 10 minutes off but that's because that's just me i have to work those issues out but god bless you i'm not going to condemn myself for it. hallelujah we're going to just go ahead and just uh get into uh the word and 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 
let you understand, man, you are free from all the legalism of people. I'm telling you right now, stop, forget worried about pleasing people and people sitting there trying to condemn you. You, you, you were going to go in Romans 8 which said there's now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Amen. God bless you. Hey, hey, God bless you. I see you got your hands up. Uh, but that's all I probably can see. I don't see any uh, uh, I, don't, I don't see anything I can, I'll see comments. Let me see if it's a chat thing here. Uh, wish I can. I wish I can talk to you. But God bless you. <laughs> anyway, the, the the whole point is, uh, and I'm gonna work that piece where I can actually hear and see comments, or at least get comments done. But God bless you. But the point is, you're free from the curse of the law. Let's let's use the scriptures. Let's let's go ahead and build the case. Amen. It, it's the key. Let's build the case where you're free. You are free and you can do it in love. And love is the one that covers a multitude of sins, amen. And, it, and the laws are for guidelines, but they're definitely not for uh, to condemn you and keep you, and restrain you or cause you not to receive the love of God and the mercy of God. Christ gave it to us. Christ gave us the, the answers and we're gonna go with those answers, amen. All right, so first of all, we're gonna go into, here's the title of the scripture today. It says right here, teaching the gospel of Yeshua's way. Now, some people, I had one person ask me, well, who, who is Yeshua? Is Yeshua is the Hebrew name for uh, Jesus, the Messiah, our Savior. Yeshua is a common name back in the time of Jesus' walk. And the fact is that he probably would, listen, he would have turned around when you called his name uh, when he was walking this earth. Right, he's going to sit there and talk about Jesus. What, what, Jesus, Jesus, who? <laughs> you know what I mean? He, uh, but he will know and respond to. And he, I'm not saying he would respond out of divine, out of his divine nature, to uh, know that we're calling, you know, the transliteration of Jesus. Uh, uh, that the that society has incorporated in the West. Uh, but the fact is that in Hebrew. Uh, is Yeshua. And what we want to do is teach it Yeshua's way. And one of the things you got to remember, like Nehemiah 8.8, 8, and that's what we're here for, is to teach this word with understanding. Look at this. So they read in the book, in the law, that's Nehemiah 8.8, 8, and so they read in the book, in the law of God distinctly, and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading. And that's the intent of this platform, is to make sure we understand the reading of God's word, not your opinions, not you locking in and trying to condemn people, but to sit there and tell you people, you are free from the curse of the law. Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law. You operate in love and you operate with under the mercy and grace of God. So what I want to do is for what, look at that, what the law could not do. And that's the whole purpose here. Because many of you stuck on the law and I'm saying the law is a good guardrail for you to help measure what is wrong and what's right. But it's not what you live by. You live by the love of God, the law, the will of God by faith. Amen. So look at this. We can fulfill the law daily by love. And what I'm saying is that every day you have to start over and over to do better. Instead of walking in condemnation, walk under the grace and the mercy of God and the will of God daily. And that's why I'm going to show you that we can fulfill the laws, the Ten Commandments, that the basic Ten Commandments, just by operating in love and knowing where they are. We're going to go by them and say, you can check all these off because you can't do them. That's what I'm trying to tell you on that too. You can't do those. So we can fulfill the laws daily. And I'm saying daily because every day is a new day for you to begin with. And we'll, we'll prove that based on the scriptures uh, right here. Okay, we got Brother Addison coming up. Hey, man. Hey, good brother. Good morning. Good morning. Man, I, 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 you and I, I, I talked to you on the phone earlier this week, and, and now I'm actually into the, the session of telling people you are not, you can fulfill the laws daily. And I'm going to talk about the Lord's Prayer. In fact, is every day that we get a chance to keep doing better. 
Uh, but we, the laws are guardrails. It, it just, I think Paul even said, I wouldn't know about lust or covetousness if, if I didn't know what the, the, the law was there to tell me you shouldn't do that. Yeah. Uh, but it's just the fact is that uh, we're not living by the law. We're not going to work our way into heaven by the law. But on the love, we can fulfill the laws of God daily. Just understanding that we just, it's just based on love and based on the faith of God. But it's definitely not based on all these other, and I call the other things gravy. Gravy is, oh, you, you went to the club last night. Uh, or you, you know, you, you, uh, you, you're not wearing the right clothes or uh, uh, you're not in the right denomination. Uh, you know what I mean? All these things that man imposes. And, 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 and I think they all have been, and people really, it's, it's true, to control society. Mm -hmm. try to control man and then at the same time manipulate man because i felt bad and i, I want to address it one day is this young lady was trying to say based on the history of the church the history of the ministry excuse me that that done the, the slavery had done the lynching and done all these type of things they say how can you serve that god and i and, and it's a it's sad kind of come you know uh note when people look at what ministries and people even to do today in politics and how they want to still want to push this systemic racism and all that other stuff that they think that's our god that's not our god people no, it's not. that is not our god and, and the fact is if you just understood the word of god that the bible even says a tree is known by its fruit and then you so you judge you judge the people and their actions by their fruit, not by the, the the word of God. The word of God tells you we don't that lynching doesn't supposed to happen. This it's right in the Ten Commandments. In fact, that thou shalt not kill. That's right there. It's also said thou shalt not the murder and the rape and all other stuff. The scripture even covers it in the Ten Commandments. As even the God real, thou shalt not commit adultery. You can't sit there and tell me that those men. That, that had those people on the boat and called themselves Christians and sitting there raping somebody and doing bad things to somebody and think that they're supposed to be the church. They're not the church. And that's not our God that's telling us to do that. If you operate in it, we're talking about the New Testament. We're talking about Christians. Somebody can label themselves all they want, but a tree is known by his fruit. And this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.